Hello and welcome back in the previous video we have completed our webpack configurations so in this video we will see your routers but first we need to configure our firebase file and write different uh, general functions inside our firebase file go inside your source folder delete all the files except your styles that uh, we have copied in here and I have provided you all the style fields that is uh, used in this project and you can download that inside the description section and delete this app.css and app.test.js index.css serviceworker.js and setuptests.js delete all of them okay and delete this logo as well now we have this source folder this webpack folder and the static folder so in webpack we have set up our base dev and prod config files okay so now in source folder add another folder here firebase okay and add a file inside it firebase.js okay inside it we need from firebase slash app and we also need here firebase auth and import Firebase Firestore and I need to remove this and import Firebase Storage. Okay. Okay, now we need to copy our configuration details from our Firebase project. Okay, go to your project that we have created in the first video and go to your project settings, go below and copy this, okay, and paste it here, okay, so you need to copy your own project's configuration detail, so you shall not copy this detail in your project, this is my configuration detail, go to your Firebase account and uh, in, go to your project that you have created in the first video and copy your configuration file, okay? So, I will rename it cost, okay? And then go and start a class, class name will be Firebase, okay, and add constructor and add app dot initialize app and pass this firebase config inside here okay now type this dot storage and give it app dot storage and this dot db app dot fire store and this dot auth is equals to app dot auth okay and I need to change the spelling initialize app okay then go inside the body and create some functions okay so we'll create the general functions that uh, our Firebase is going to handle. So first function is we're going to use create count. So this function is going to take email and password. Okay, this is the arrow function, and this is a one line function. Then we'll type here this dot auth dot create user with email and password and pass email and password 
and this line okay in the next line we'll type sign in okay so sign in also is going to take email and password okay and this dot auth dot sign in with email and password okay and pass email and password okay then create sign in with google okay error function and this dot auth sign in with pop up okay and type here new app auth dot google auth provider okay and then we also need sign out okay we'll type here this dot auth dot sign out okay okay we have written the general functions that we are going to call inside our app to sign in sign up and sign out okay so i think let's have a quick break in the next video we'll be talking about some more functions that is going to be handled inside our app so let's have a quick break here